And like, I am a, I'm a cynical individual. You've known me long enough to know that. But we're all cynical. You know, it's a natural cynicism is quite a, find you have it under control. It's quite a, a good thing to have because it stops you falling into holes, you know, and getting misled. So when you turn around to someone and say, see this project, it's going to give this away, give this stuff away just to do good. People go, yeah, of course, of course the hell, mate. <laughs> what do you do? That's the first thing. You've got to be, you've got to be realistic about it. It's human nature. You go, yeah, of course. But it genuinely is. And I, the thing I love about it is the fact that the, the money input, it doesn't matter what your reasons for doing that are. You know, you could be doing it for a good reason. You could be doing it because you just want to get rich. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. The output is still the same. More tokens staked on the platform, more rewards output, more 4% from those rewards going to service people. Okay. So we should probably explain where, the, where this is in the moment and what my position is. So I'm the general manager. That's my job. I and it is literally what it is. I am. Um, so we have a, a team. We have a tech people. So our uh, CTO, our chief technical officer, a guy called Jens Albers, who's a mega guy. He has devs working underneath him. So you can think about the project in sort of two ways. There is the tech side, with ninjas, who <laughs> could do this conversation asleep, much better than we can. We just I don't had. know. Developers. Uh, are... What was that? That's you, your phone. Was it? Yeah. Oh, apparently, development is, that's my favourite thing to do. Well, how about shut up? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd check that. I, I, it's on, yeah, it's on silent. Go on, anyway. Jesus Christ. That's sketchy, isn't it? That is, that is, that's never done that before. That's a real problem. That's because we're talking about a disruptive S technology. And Google's kicked in. Mm. And it's a Google, Google phone. I don't know why the fuck you've got one of them. Mate, that is, well, I don't know either. Shit as well. It's the worst one we've had. Put it outside. That's off now, because you know. Yeah, so anyway. Lucky we weren't telling secrets. Oh my God, Jesus. Go yeah. uh, so, anyway, developers, mate, I don't think they Yeah, can, maybe not uh, devs. Well, yeah, but, yeah. They Yen, talk in binary code. Jens could explain this much better than us, obviously. See, this is a very respected guy, very good guy. So you can think about the tech team there, but it's been a very deliberate decision made that actually the front-facing team, the team who actually who are going to have to explain this, push it forward. And obviously we've got, we do have skills in running businesses and project management and all those things. But instead of having a blockchain nerd, I'm not saying I'm not a blockchain nerd, but a, a genuine blockchain nerd, trying to speak to your average guy, girl, in the service profession who's got no time to listen about this because they've run off their feet. It's better to have that sort of personability coming from people from their background. Because we trust our own, don't we? That's just a fact. Of whether that's a good or bad thing. If you come to me and say, Gaz... It's survival what, thing. What, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in, our, it's in our nature. Yeah, it's in our nature. Go and help it. So there's very, been a very de deliberate decision there made that actually the people who are forward-facing with this should, as much as possible, come from a service background uh, and understand the people that they're, they're trying to get this across because we we have a situation as a company where when we're trying to market this we've got two sorts of people that we have to try and get it across to we have crypto native people who it's just another project that they might be able to make money from and now oh, bonus i get to make i get to do some good at the same time so there's those people so we don't have to really persuade them of anything we just go they basically say well where do you buy it and we go those places that's where you buy it no problem. They can work the exchanges. They're used to moving it around, moving the crypto from wallet to wallet and all that stuff. They understand staking. There's those people. That's not a hard sell. We'll sell them with two things. You're either going to make a load of money or you're going to put your money somewhere that's going to do some good. Done. We But the other side of it is people who are crypto native who have already turned off this conversation because we started talking about something that they've heard about in the pub probably. I'd have all heard about the news and I've gone, that's a scam. It's used by drug dealers. It's, it's all dark web stuff. You know what I mean? There's those people. And, and the reality is, and that is, this is, this is coming. This is going to be daily life, uh, isn't it? it? Uh, you know, yeah. it's, it, we're just not at that stage. We recognize it yet. 